hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to load google map inside your angular 13 application with a red marker also so you will see this is a red marker you will provide the latitude and longitude based upon that position it will place the marker on the map so you can place the marker on any location in the world you just need to know the latitude and longitude so this is the angular 13 application we are loading the google map using the google map javascript api so i will be showing you step by step in this video how to do this inside angular 13 application and if you want to download all the source code i have written a complete blog post in my video description on my website codingsiksha.com so just go to the video description link to follow the all the instructions and download all the source code so let's get started guys so let me delete all this source code and start from scratch this is a brand new angular project let me delete all this let me also delete this all the code so now you can see this is a brand new project here i have created here nothing is there so if i reload this application localhost 4200 nothing is there so now first of all guys what you need to do is that we need to install some dependencies so i will stop the angular js angular application so you need to install npm i and then you need to install this package which is if you go to the video description link i have given that this command here so if you just go to it this is a command npm i at the rate google maps slash js api loader so this is a library for the google map javascript apis for angular so just install this by using this command so it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds so i have already installed it so now let me start this uh, angular application once again so after doing this go to app.component.html file guys so here you need to declare a div and you need to give it a class of full and uh, you need to give it an id of map that's it this is the only html that is required here now go to app.component.css we will target the full class and here we will give a full width which is 100 view height and also height is also equal to 100 view height that's it and now this is complete now you need to go to app.component.ts file this is the main file where we will write of all the code here so here first of all what you need to do is that you will give it a title to our component this will be google dash maps and after that guys we will declare a variable private variable of uh, type google dot maps dot map so just declare it after doing this guys we need to implement the on ng on it so you need to implement the on in it so we will write our interface which is on in it so it will create this ng on in it function so whenever your component loads for the very first time this method will execute auto automatically so here we need to write node load the map google map on the browser so here first of all we will declare a loader variable and we will initialize it to new loader and this will automatically get imported from this library at the rate google map slash js api loader so just write this at the very top and here uh, in, in inside this this expect some options guys so the first option will be the api key so here you need to copy paste the api key so for this you need to be having a google cloud console account so just go to google and just type here google cloud console and just sign up on this platform if you haven't already enable the google map javascript api go to apis overview and uh, you just need to link your credit card information and just click enable api services and here you need to search for this api google maps javascript api so you will find this api maps javascript so enable it i have already enabled it so after that you need to go to your uh, dashboard you need to create a api key brand new api key so i will get my own api key 
so don't copy my api key i will delete the api key once this video is over so let me copy this and paste it my api key so this is the only thing that it takes after providing this api key we can use the load method load method that it has and then it returns a promise we can handle this using dot then and inside this this returns the promise so the information is it you can console log just uh, load it map load it map that's it so now at this moment of time if i just check here hopefully if i refresh let me see you can see it is printed out loaded map but we have we are not seeing the map so for seeing the map you need to write some instruction here you need to first of all give the location the location is coming from latitude and longitude so every location inside the world has its own latitude and longitude you can also search on google so const location so here we will provide the latitude and longitude inside this object so this contains two properties lat stands for latitude so put a comma and longitude l and g for longitude so here we can search for any position so we search for australia latitude and longitude so just write on google and google will provide you so we will just copy it and longitude of australia is this so based upon your region you can just type it on google and google will provide you automatically the latitude and longitude after that guys we providing this we can just uh, uh, declare our map place that marker so we can just this dot map is equal to new google dot maps dot map and inside this we will pass the id that we given inside the html which is map so if you check here app dot component we have given this id map so just provide this id and in the second parameter we have this callback function a set of curly brackets so inside this we will provide the center to be the location that we specify put a comma and we will provide the zoom level to 6 you can provide any zoom level of your choice and uh, lastly guys let me see if just load this map here let me just after this let me see if anything happens here so you will see now you will see now it is showing us the google map you will see that the google map is showing if you just load it it is showing this location which is australia which is there this is the location you will see this is the location so now we need to place the red marker on this so to place that red marker it is very easy we will declare a another variable which is marker and here we will say new google dot maps dot marker and this takes some options so here we, it will put pass to the position so position is equal to the location that we specify australia latitude longitude and it will ask for the map so this will be this dot map that's it so now if you re reload this this will place that marker here you will see it is not correct because australia is here it is placing this marker here so let me have uh, you can see it is saying australia is both a country and a continent so it is giving me the latitude let me take for india latitude longitude so australia is the case it is also a continent so it is confused by that so we can change this to this latitude paste it so now if you refresh it it will place that marker on india location you will see this is india so based upon that you can target any country so let's suppose we have new zealand longitude latitude so
so now if you refresh it you will see the latitude longitude is placed right here so it is again a situation of it's a continent it is not a country so you can target any country in the map and the nice thing is let me target now Denmark so if I write here Denmark you can target any small country as well so now if you refresh it you will see the marker is placed so you can also style this map also guys if you want to change the color of this map you can uh, provide additional property here inside this map just put a comma after zoom and there is a styles property and uh, we can provide a styles of our own so we can create a file here in this root directory which is which will be called as uh, map styles .ts. this will be a typescript file so it is saying it is already existing so it, you can see we have already created this so we can delete this so just create a map styles.ts file and now i will tell you a website which lets you create these styles which is uh, map style dot with google.com this is the website go to this website map style dot with google.com so here you can style your map you can just see you can just change the theme of the map here like this you can also have the dark theme light the night theme all that stuff and after that you can also change the color as well of the map like this after that you can just click on finish and you can just copy paste this json which comes it click copy and here you can paste it before that you can just uh, export it so export const styles and paste it so here what we can do is that we can import these styles which we defined here so we can just say import from map styles so here we have declared it styles so now if you refresh it your map will be changed here so it will change to this uh, yellow ma uh, yellow map here like this so in this way you can change the color and the theme of the map as well so in this tutorial guys we have seen how to load google maps inside angular 13 application using google maps javascript api so if you want to download all the source code just go to the video description link and download all the source code please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video